dedicate our performance of The Wizard of Oz to our teacher, Miss Stacy Graber. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz was a book that was first published by L. Frank Baum in 1900. The book inspired the movie The Wizard of Oz. It is is the most watched motion picture in history, according to the Library of Congress. I bet you didn't know that before he was famous, that Frank Baum was a poultry beater, an actor, and a traveling salesman. He was also a champion of women's rights. The ruby slippers were actually silver in the book, but the color was changed for the movie. Our script was written by Captain Schultz Miller. We are presenting this play with permission from Art Reach Children's Theater. Well, now that you have a little bit of the background of The Wizard of Oz, please sit back, relax, and enjoy our presentation of this magical play. Scene one, the storm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, for your enjoyment, for your edifa, edifa, what's that word? Edification. For your edification. Not now. Allow us to present to you our production of The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, whoa, that's my favorite. Pipe down. Our, Our story begins in Kansas. Kansas? Yuck. <laughs> Dorothy lived on a farm in Kansas with her Auntie Em, Uncle Henry, and her little dog, Toto. Every day, Dorothy dreamed that she could go far, far away. Oh, Toto, I wish I could go somewhere over that rainbow. I just know there's more to the world than this, and I want to see it so very badly. Once in a life. 
Little did Dorothy know that her life was about to change. Sadly, there was a terrible storm. In the distance, Dorothy could see a funny-looking cloud. It's a cyclone! Toto was so afraid of cyclones that he ran away and hid.
big kingdom? Kansas isn't a kingdom. Oh, not a kingdom. <laughs> Do you have magic in Kansas? No, mostly we have cornfields. <coughs>
Dorothy meets some new friends on her way to Oz. Dorothy and Toto walked for miles and miles. After a while, they stopped to take a rest. Oh, Toto, I wonder how much longer until we get there. Good day, young lady. Who said that? <coughs> Me, over here. But you're a scarecrow. Scarecrows don't talk. I beg your pardon. You don't know much about scarecrows, do you? I know they don't talk. At least none of the ones in Kansas can talk. Maybe they'll have much to say. At any rate, I'd be most grateful if you could help me out of here. What should I do? This pole is stuck up my back. If you could take it away. Certainly. Thank you. I feel like a new man. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Dorothy and I'm on my way to the Emerald City to ask the Great Wizard of Oz to take me back to Kansas. Who's the Wizard of Oz? Don't you know who he is? I don't know anything at all. See? My head is stuffed with hay. I don't have any brains. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Say, do you think the wizard could give me some brains? I don't see why not. You're welcome to come along with Toto if you'd like. <laughs> Toto, stop that. That's not polite. Don't worry. He never bites. If they bite, I can't feel it. I'm only afraid of one thing. What is that? A lighted match! Well, I don't expect we'll see we'll run into too many of those. dark forest on the way to the Emerald City. They walked and walked until they came to a grove of trees. Oh, it's dark in this part of the forest. And we've been walking for such a long time. I'm awfully hungry. As a scarecrow, I never get hungry. But look, apples. I'll get one for you, Dorothy. Hey, put that back. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you could talk and Dorothy was hungry and I just thought I'd get her an apple. Use that and steal our apples. I didn't think it was stealing exactly. That's right, you didn't think at all. Well, actually, I can't think. I haven't got a brain. You can say that again. Hey, that's not fair. He didn't mean to do anything wrong. Go on, beat it. This is our part of the forest. Go find your own hangout. Well, I'm sure we'll be happy to be out of your woods. We'll be happy when you're out of our woods, too. Yes, little girl, noisy dog, and you old bundle of hay. Be on your way now. <laughs> Since I rested. 
City to see the Wizard of Oz. We're going to ask him to send me to Kansas and give the Scarecrow some brains. Do you think the Wizard could give me a heart? I don't see why not. And so the Tin Man decided to go along with them to Oz. Call me, please. <laughs> was still paved with yellow brick, but the deeper they went into the forest, the scarier it became. Suddenly, Turner noticed a low growl coming from the bushes. It was a ferocious looking lion. with 
out of him and void. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the noise. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. Who's king around the forest? The king they better soar. Why, with my regal Caesar, I could be another Caesar if I only had the noise. I'll go with you, but but only if you mind. That was a very polite way to put it. Of course, you can go with that.
So the gatekeepers took them to a large room that glittered with diamonds and jewels. It will be with you just as soon as he feels like it. They were very excited about finally getting to meet the wizard. After a while, the wizard spoke. I am the great, the wise, and the wonderful wizard of Oz. How dare you disturb my wizardly, uh, wizardness. Who are you? Explain yourself. I'm a small and meek Dorothy. Please, Your Worship, we must we have come a very long way to ask you for help. I need to get back to my home in Kansas. Why should I do this for you? Because you are a great wizard and I'm only a little girl. You have no right to ask me to do anything for you unless you do something for me. What would you like me to do? Kill the wicked witch of the West. I can't do that. If you're so great and powerful, why can't you do it yourself? Because, because, I do not know. Now go away and do not bother me until you have done what I ask. Well, what about us? I need brain. That is a heart. And I need courage. You must help Dorothy kill the little witch of the West. Do not come back until you do. I have spoken. set out on their journey. Now the Wicked Witch of the West had only one eye. But she used a powerful telescope and she could see everywhere. Well, isn't that sweet? What's the little girl's name? He is 
to my perm six sweet little Dorothy. After you finish sweeping, you can mop the floor and be quick about it. But suddenly the witch noticed something she hadn't seen before. Those shoes, those ruby slippers, where did you get them? From the Wicked Witch of the East. I killed her. It was an accident. Glinda told me never to take them off. Glinda, Glinda, I'll get that good witch back. Give me the shoes. No, never. Don't be a fool. I can get whatever I want. Monkeys, come to me, my pretties. No, get away from me. I'll never give up these ruby slippers. Never. <laughs> Dorothy grew so angry that she picked up the bucket of water and threw it on the witch. We got rid of the old witch. 
witch. Here's a broom to prove it. Yes, well, come back tomorrow. We can't wait until tomorrow. You have to keep your promise to us. Let's see if this works. Roar. Toto? Toto got excited and began pawing at the curtain. He would stop, wouldn't would stop until he had revealed the wizard. Who are you? I am Oz, the great, the wise, the... You're not a wizard. You're an imposter. I'm afraid I'm just an ordinary man. I was riding here in a balloon when the wind carried me to Oz. I think you are a very bad man. No, I'm a good man, but a very bad wizard. It's true that I can't work magic, but I might be able to help. Does that mean you can give me a brain? Well, we learn something new every day. That is how one gets smart. But I can give you my diploma. A diploma from the University of Omaha? Omaha? As for your heart, I have been saving this since a Valentine's Day long ago. It should do the trick. Is it a kind heart? Yes, very. Then it is perfect. What about my courage? Very well, I'll get it for you. This. Well, what is it? Well, once you drink it, it will, you, well, once you drink it, you will feel very brave that you've always had courage inside of you. I'll, I'll do it. How do you feel? Like the king of the forest. Roar! How will she get back to Kansas? That's a tricky one, but I do think I have a solution. You do? I came here in a balloon that was destroyed in landing, so I have been making a new one. <laughs> the wizard unveiled his balloon, but when Darcy wasn't looking, Toto wandered away. Climb aboard, hurry. Come on, Toto. Toto? I can't go without Toto. Come back, I want to come with you. I can't, my dear. So sorry. Goodbye. Everyone watched as the wizard drifted away. Everyone watched. Suddenly they saw another figure appear. of the North. Hello, Dorothy. I know you want to go back to Kansas very badly. Oh, I do. Can you tell me how? You've had the power with you all the time, Dorothy. I have? It is in your ruby slippers. All you have to do is click your heels together three times and say, there's no place like home. Oh, Glinda, I can't thank you enough. Well, I guess it really is goodbye this time. Stay strong, Dorothy. Go home to the ones you love. Here it goes. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <coughs> Suddenly, Dorothy was standing in her cornfield in Kansas. She and Toto were home at last. Dorothy! Dorothy, Toto, where have you been? We've been far away to a land you can only dream of.
tell, a great deal of planning and preparation goes into a performance with this number of students and several revisions. Many thanks to Mrs. Eisner, Dr. Messina, and all of our grade one through four faculty and staff, but most importantly to our students.